Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about deodorant, and by the end of this video, I hope that you take your deodorant and throw it out and tell the garbage. So, first off, did you guys know aluminum in your deodorant? It's linked to Alzheimer's and breast cancer. Scary stuff. Then imagine this. Every time you apply deodorant, those chemicals don't just sit there. They go straight into your bloodstream, skipping your body's natural defense system. And if that's not enough, some of these chemicals are messing with your hormones. Yes, the very things keeping you smelling fresh could be throwing your body off balance. But don't worry, stay tuned because by the end of the video, I share some natural alternatives that are much more safer and better. This is my presentation, The Hidden Dangers of Deodorant. The vulnerability of your underarms. Did you know the skin under your arms is thin and located near lymph nodes, making it highly absorbent to chemicals? Toxic substances in deodorants can be easily absorbed here and affect your immune system. Here are most common ingredients found in deodorant. First, we have aluminum, which can act as a plug in sweat ducks, but it is linked to Alzheimer's and breast cancer. Phthalate. Known to disrupt hormone levels and cause reproductive issues. Triclosan. Used for its antibacterial properties, but is considered a potential. Carcinogen. Propylene glycol. Initially safe in small doses, but potentially toxic to the liver and kidneys with regular exposure. This is ingredients found in deodorant. Formaldehyde. Well, this known carcinogen kills bacteria, it is also linked to cancer. Parabens mimic estrogen in the body and may increase the risk of breast cancer. Sweating is not just a cooling mechanism, but a natural way to detoxify. Aluminum in antiperspirants prevents this, potentially leading to a buildup of toxins in the body. This means that the aluminum in your deodorants is potentially leading to buildup of toxins in your body. The risk of absorption. Substances applied to the skin can bypass the liver's filtration and directly enter the bloodstream. This makes the potentially harmful effects of deodorant ingredients such as endocrine disruption and cancer risk more concerning. Well, the ingredients, no, the chemicals in your deodorant can bypass the liver's filtration and directly enter your bloodstream. The ongoing debate on deodorant safety. Research on the health impact of deodorant is mixed but concerning ingredients like parabens and aluminum have been found in breast tissue and linked to gene instability in cells, raising flags about their safety. So these ingredients, parabens and aluminum, that is in our deodorant has been found in breast tissue that's linked to gene instability in cells, raising flags about their safety. So to summarize all that up, we use deodorant every day, but some of them can be bad for our health because of harmful chemicals they contain. The skin under your arms is very sensitive and close to important parts of your immune system. Harmful chemicals and deodorants can easily get into your body there. We talked about the harmful ingredients which can cause breast cancer and Alzheimer's, it can mess with your body's hormones, could cause cancer, might damage your kidneys and liver, and is linked to cancer. Sweating is good. Sweating helps your body get rid of the bad stuff. Deodorants with aluminum stop you from sweating, which isn't good for you. When you put on deodorant, the chemicals go straight into your blood. This can be more dangerous than swallowing them because your livers can't clean them out first. Studies show that some chemicals in deodorants might be dangerous, but scientists haven't all agreed yet. So, there are enough worries to be careful. Switching to natural deodorants can help you avoid these chemicals. They let your body sweat naturally and are better for the environment. Natural deodorants avoid harmful chemicals, supporting your body's detox processes and not interfering with natural bodily functions. They're also environmentally friendly and less likely to cause skin irritation. In my next slide, I'm going to be sharing two deodorants that I found that has really good clean ingredients, but I wanted to say real quickly that my sister Katie and I are going to start our own little business where we're going to sell 100% natural products that came from a great, humane, loving place. All the animal products we use, are, we're going to know where it comes from and that it came from a good, loving place. And it's going to be affordable because if you look up natural products online, most of them are so pricey and can range from $20 to $60 for natural products. And I want to make it fair for everyone to be able to afford and get. This is the primarily pure deodorant. Um, this is a full ingredient list. You can read every single ingredient and know what it is. The one ingredient you may not know what is, is the non-nano zinc oxidide, which that is zinc oxidide, but it is a larger particle, so it can't penetrate the skin and it cannot be absorbed through your skin. But the rest of these ingredients, you can read and know what it is, and I love it. 
And I have not tested out this product myself. I just looked at all the reviews and it had great, amazing reviews. This was $16. The next deodorant I found is aluminum free deodorant stick. This is $18. I can read all the ingredients and know what it is, but there's two ingredients that I didn't know what it is. So the first ingredient was natural aluminum free sodium bicarbonate. And what that is, is it is baking soda sourced naturally without added aluminum compounds. It's used in baking and cleaning, marketed to those who prefer products without synthetic additives. And then the other ingredient that I didn't know what it really was, was the 3% grade hydrogen peroxide. And that is a solution containing 3% hydrogen peroxide produced according to U.S. Pharmacopeia standards for purity. It's marketed without synthetic additives and commonly used for disinfectant and bleaching purposes, which I didn't like that, but it's 3%, so it is considered safe. But honestly, I would I just wanted to give you guys options, and these were just the best ones that I did order this one because it was off Amazon, and I wanted to come as fast as it can. So I do have this underarm one, and I got the one in lavender scent, and it smells amazing. It smells so good. I hope that I inspired you to get rid of your deodorant and get on a natural deodorant. There are many more products out there that are absolute awful and have horrible ingredients in it. I just did a recent video on sunscreen. Sunscreen that people put on themselves and on their children because they think it's protecting them from the sun, but it's absolute awful. Most sunscreens have 25 ingredients in it, ones that you can't even read nor pronounce nor what it is, and we just put it on our kids. And it absorbs through your skin as well, just like the deer. It goes straight through your bloodstream, and there's you just got to go check out that video to learn more about it. But anyway, this is going to be a series of videos. So I'm going to be doing videos on products that, doing videos on everyday products that are actually harmful. And I'm going to be giving alternatives to it. So stay tuned for that. I hope I inspired you to throw out your deodorant. Get rid of your deodorant. You can get something natural and way better. And it's going to be so much safer. It's going to be safe. And then you won't smell and it'll be perfect. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the absolute best. Bye. Beep.